What's up, this your big brother, Trend Genius, man. You tuned in once again to the Famous Living Room Network. You already know Divine Power is working for us because we do, right? Man, listen. So God told me to tell you this. God told me to God told me to tell you this message I'm about to tell you. I don't know who clicked this video, but you clicked this video for a very special reason. I'm about to confirm a lot of things you've been wondering about. I'm about to tell you who you are. Okay, and I'm about to tell you why the things that's happening in your life right now the way they happening. Listen, if you are chosen one, I need you to stay tuned to the whole video go off. All right, you need to hear every word I got to say. And at the end, I got something very special I want to tell the chosen one. Okay, so stay tuned to the end of this video. Your big brother Trend Genius got something very special for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Listen. Listen, man, if you know for a fact you're the chosen one, you got to know that it's nobody like you. It's going to be people who you think is bigger than you, better than you, smarter than you, more blessed than you. They not, they not, they not, they not. Listen, God only picked like probably one person out of the whole family to be chosen. I'm just letting you know that. Nine times out of 10, everywhere you go, nine times out of 10, everywhere you go, you're going to be the only chosen one that's in the vicinity. It's not nobody that's higher than you. When you are God's chosen one, God usually puts you in positions to where it ain't nobody else around like you. All right. It's very rare that you run into another chosen one. Very, 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 very rare. All right. Because see what God is doing through you. God is trying to get his people to come back to him. So what God is doing is God is using you to express his glory. That's why you're going to be successful. That's the only reason why you're going to be successful. And that's the only reason why you carry in this power inside of you that God has endowed you with. God chose you to carry his power inside of him. So that's why you feel like it might come off like you feel better than other people sometimes. You know, it comes off like you invincible or you can't be touched. Like these are the feelings that you feel when you chosen one. It make you look at people and just be like, what they do that at? Like, why are they doing it that way? That's not, that's not smart. You know what I mean? Or like, wow, everybody's looking at me. Like everybody's staring at you when you go out to certain places and all this shit. The reason why this is all happening is because you chosen one. See, you might not even know that you was chosen until you were experiencing these little situations where you like had people staring at you or, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it always felt like you was just different from everybody else or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But that's the only, that's the only way you got to know that you was different that it's because you was chosen. It's because it's just the way people been treating you. You just don't, it's not the same. People hate on you for no reason and you ain't did nothing. You just be wondering like why they doing it. It's cause you chosen dog. As a chosen one, you carry a gifting, a calling, a vision. You carrying a vision with you in your heart. And, and this shit is leaking off of you in your from your spirit. And people unconsciously can sense it. They can unconsciously feel it. That's why they treat you the way they treat you. Because they are jealous of your spirit. Because you are a child of God. They don't. You are a child of God. They know you better than them. They know you, you, you well off. They know everything is working for you. And I'm about to tell you this message. Listen, you got to listen, bro. Say it with me one more time, man. Listen, listen. Woo. God told me to tell you, everybody can't go with you. God told me to tell you, he about to start cutting more people out of your life. God told me to tell you, you're going to be lonely, even lonelier than you ever been before. Because, see, you get into a point where you starting to feel like you got to have somebody around you or, you know, like you can't do it by yourself or, you know, you need a friend or two. No, God said, I'm about to cut everybody off. God said, I just want me and you. You know, because one thing you got to understand, folks, listen. The, the reason why so many people out here suffering in the world that we live in is because they have grown to live codependent on everybody else all to find that that, that same person 
ain't for them or ain't there for them. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is codependent and everybody feel like they got to have friends. They got to be in a relationship. They got to have a girlfriend. They got to have a boyfriend. All to find out at the end of the day, that person just stand them up. That person just let them down. And that's why they keep going, starting over for fresh. They, see, they keep going back to the beginning all the time. It's because they live in codependency thinking that it's the right thing to be with a bunch of people all the time. But God told me to tell you, dog. He don't want everybody to go with you. He don't want everybody to be with you as he as he take you through through this journey to where you're about to start getting all your blessings. God don't want to bless everybody. Because he ain't because they ain't made him happy like you have. See, that's why he chose you. Because God knew you was going to be special. God knew he had a plan for you. That's why he chose you out of everybody else. Because he know everybody wasn't going to be, gonna, wasn't going to hold the vision and be faithful to the vision like you. That's the only reason why God is telling you everybody can't go, dog. Some people are going to have to stay in the, in the bleachers and watch this shit from afar because they was never there for you. They never wanted to help you. They never wanted to give you a helping hand. So God's saying, you know what? I'm about to cut them off. It's time to cut them off now. Everybody can't go with you to success. Every God don't want some people to experience a shopping spree with you. I'm telling y'all, y'all got to get out of this mindset of God just nice all the time. Y'all got to get out of that shit. God ain't always nice. I'm telling you. God will build you up, and if you're funny, he will bring you back down. And see, one thing y'all got to understand about God is he knows people's heart. See, humans, human beings can't see people's heart and judge people on their heart. That's something beyond man. Man can only judge from their mind. But only God can judge you. Only God can judge you. So I'm just saying that to say, bro, everybody can't go with you on your journey to where God about to take you, bro. And that's why you probably like feeling so much pressure and so much stress because you like, yo, why nobody don't understand me? Why nobody don't want to hang out with me? Why nobody don't want to go where I want to go? That because God got them in, God doing something to where they can't even experience the shit with you. He got them in a little bind. You know what I mean? He got them confused. To where he he got them so they can't so they can't understand your vision. That's why they that's why they that's why they can't see what you're doing because he got their eyes blinded. They can't see the light because they don't deserve to see the light. Everybody can't go with you to success, bro. You better go go ahead and getting used to being by yourself and experiencing your great blessings. I'm telling you, bro, this is real. Everybody not going to be able to go with you and experience this shit. And you can't take people with you. Some of y'all in relationships and the person not even for you in a relationship, but you just still in a relationship like you supposed to be with them. How long does it take for you to understand that God is trying to get you to understand that he's not of God? She's not of God. That's why they don't support your vision. Anytime you start talking about your vision, you wonder why. Why they don't never want to listen to it? Because they not of God. Cut they ass off. Stop Stop staying in relationships with people that don't serve your interests, dog. They letting it be known that they don't want to have nothing to do with what God put in your heart. They not of God. And it's the same thing with anybody, bro. It's the same thing with family members. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all what's about to happen with your family. Some of y'all, you ain't even going to know your family members no more. I'm telling you. Your, that, your family, who you think is your family, ain't really your family. That's just the family you was born into. Your real family come from above. Your real family going to be people who you least expect to support your vision. To be there for you when times get hard. Your real family is the least expected people that you're going to be able to call on to give you some money when you need some ends. Your, your real family is from a spiritual realm. 
they gonna be the ones that be standing by your side when you in the hospital bed when something go wrong. It ain't gonna be your biological family. It ain't gonna be them. So I'm telling y'all, bro, everybody can't go with you. It's gonna be, you gonna start running into people. Listen, you gonna start running into people and they gonna sense it. They gonna pick up on your anointing. They gonna pick up on how blessed you is and how they gonna see your future before, before their eyes, before they even get to know you. They gonna see the potential in you. And they're going to try to want to connect with you. And they're going to try to ride with you. And they're going to want to get in the passenger seat with you. But God is telling me to tell you, they can't go. And see, how do you know that the people can't go? You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel people. It's going to be like, they're going to be, they're going to be so like, they're going to be pressuring you. Like, you, you love me? You love me? Why you don't like me? You don't want to be with me? Come on, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, it's, huh, huh, go where? You ain't going with me? Uh-uh. I'm telling you. And on a low key, these are the Decepticons. They gonna see you not for where your heart is. They not gonna see you for, you know, you being you. They gonna see money bags on you. Like the emoji, they gonna see the money bag. They gonna see the money bag. They gonna see that everybody like you. They gonna see that you the spotlight in the room. They gonna say, oh my God, they getting all the attention. Let me go over here and get something. Where they do that at? They ain't beating on me. Huh? But now I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it 100. It's gonna be a lot of people. They see where you are going and they gonna wanna try to connect with you. And it's gonna feel like too pushy. They're gonna be trying to get you in a relationship with them. It's gonna feel too pushy. Like something ain't right with this motherfucker. This motherfucker trying to get something from me. That's because God is telling them they can't go with you. They can't go with you on this journey to success. They can't be blessed. Y'all gotta understand, man. You gotta understand. God's people is not like everybody else. I can't stress this no more. When I say chosen one, I mean that the same way I'm saying chosen one. You was picked. You was picked. You on the all-star team. Ain't nobody ain't but, but five players on the all-star team. You got to understand. Ain't nobody like you. You go everywhere. Ain't nobody going to be in the vicinity like you. They gonna try to act like it. They might have some jewelry on. They gonna try hard to be, get and be like you. They gonna have people competing with you and shit. They gonna be like, they gonna be like look at me. And you right there. Why you doing all that? Cause they know the chosen one is around. They know the chosen one is in the presence. So you're gonna have a lot of people that's gonna try to steal your spotlight because they sense it. They can sense the spirit on you. The spirit is on you. The spirit is walking with you. The angel guys, you got a whole legion of angels that walk with you in the club. And, and as soon as you go up in there, that shit, they all around, flying around everywhere. People can feel it. Who is that? Who is that? The chosen one. You different from everybody else. Why you think you go to sleep and have all these dreams? You don't even know what they mean. Or why you think, um... Why you think you like wake up, you know what I mean? Middle of the night, very energetic. Like, what should I do with this energy? It's because you're the chosen. It's because God be talking to you. Why you think you see all these synchronicities, these coincidences? Oh, I heard that and it happened over there. It's because the spirit is on you. The spirit is on you in these last days. It ain't on everybody else. I told you that's why people people's dying out here. People getting killed out here. The devil swooping them up. Cause they ain't never did right by God. But the chosen one, no fear, no evil shall come upon you. Cause you got God with you. But I'm telling you this. In these last days, God is gonna be very stingy with you. 
God gonna be very, very stingy with you. He ain't gonna want nobody to go with you. He ain't gonna want you to get in relationships with certain people. You're gonna wonder why certain people just, just stop talking to you all of a sudden. Because God made somebody in their family get sick, so they gotta go help them, but you don't know nothing about it. Because God's seen that they came in contact with you, and he don't want them in contact with you because he's seen what they did behind closed doors. You did. You wonder why this dude, why does God don't like me? He, I did, I'm doing everything right. I know I'm a good wife material. Nah. God seen that in the future, he was going to get jealous of you and he was going to try to set you up to be killed. God said, I can't have that. It's my chosen one. you like, yo, why ain't, why, why ain't got no money? right now why i can't get no job right now why come you know it feel like everything falling apart it's because god got wants you in a position to where you listen to him right now because he got an idea he got an idea that he about to give you that's gonna change your whole life he got a business that he about to help you start up that's gonna change your whole life he don't want you to work for nobody i'm trying to tell y'all man listen it's your big brother Trent. i gotta say it with me one more time man listen you the chosen one. Anything you speak, it come to you. All you got to do is just speak it. I want that. That's mine. Speak it into existence. It'll come to you. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. If you want good health, whatever hurting on your body, you say, oh, it's, I'm healed. I'm healed right here. My leg, all right. I'm healed. Boom. Next day you wake up, the motherfucker healed. Huh? Huh? Play with God. Mess with the chosen one. See what happened with you. It ain't gonna be pretty. God told me to tell y'all. He don't want everybody to go with you, dog. Stop trying to make friends with people. Stay in your own lonesome sometimes. Stay in your own lonesome. Walk by yourself. Because you got the most high always talking to you, resorting to you, giving you ideas, telling you what to do, telling you where to go. You don't need people. People need you. I'm telling you, listen, I'm going to just go ahead and end it off like this. Listen, this is what I'm going to say. If anybody make you feel like you need them, they're a Decepticon. And they're playing games. They're playing mind games with you. You don't need them. I'm telling you, everybody that you come in contact with, they're not going to tell you this. But they need you. Everybody in your contact list right now, I guarantee you, they're thinking about you. They need you because they know you're the chosen one. They watching you. They, they know spiritually there's something different about you and they can't seem to get over you. But listen, they can't go with you though. So if people want to come in your life and they want to leave, let them go. Close the door on their way out. Say bye-bye. Huh? Huh? You leaving? Oh, uh huh? Okay, bye. Thank you. Come on, let's hurry up and go. Take your spirit with you. Take your energy with you because I guarantee you as soon as they leave you, that spirit that they had that was blessing them too is going to leave them because it's still on you. You got to understand you're the chosen one. Y'all, Some of y'all don't understand this shit. Man. Some of y'all take this shit for granted, man. Listen, my boy, listen. Nigga, when you, wherever you go, you make the shit light up. You the chosen one. When you go places, it could be empty in the damn restaurant. I guarantee you, you, you if your spirit step foot in there, it's going to be other spirits that come in there too and sit down beside you and shit. People going to get excited. People going to get crunk when you come around. They going to think they in a the movie too. Yeah. Just because you standing right there, they going to think they in a the movie too. Yeah. Damn Decepticons, they see the spirit on you. They see you different. They see you got confidence, huh? And they're going to try to want to be in your movie and play with you. Uh-uh. Go over there. Go over there. Let me get away from here. Let me get away from here. Too many people trying to listen. You know, they're going to do all kind of shit. They want to be a part of the greatness that comes with being blessed. Because wherever you walk, wherever you go, that's where the spirit go. And the spirit is on you. And whoever you come in contact with will be blessed. That's why I say, that's why I say, if people acting like they don't need you, they a lie. If people acting like you need them, they a lie. They're a Decepticon. They struggling without you. 
And as soon as they leave you, if you was in a relationship with somebody, as soon as they leave you, oh, they going back downhill. Huh? Yeah. Soon as they, soon as soon as you they leave you, they gonna get a bum chica. Oh, ghetto ratchetuli ass girl. Huh? Telling you, understand you the chosen one. Everybody can't go with you, man. God told me to tell you that. God want to bless you. He don't want to bless them. God want to bless you. He don't want to bless your daddy. He seen what you did. He happy with you. God don't want to bless them folks. He want to bless you. He going to make your enemies a footstool for you. Yo, people from your family going to be calling you. Can, hey, can I get in in what you doing? Yeah. We're going to put you on payroll. Listen, it's your big bro, Trent Genius, man. Somebody cut the AC on for me. It's hot out here. Huh? Huh? You said what? Huh? I can't hear you. Huh? Oh, this is what I thought. I thought you said something. Oh, you were talking on the phone. Okay, huh? Chosen one in this bitch. You can't have everybody go with you. I told you, if you stay tuned to this end of this video, I got something very special for you. Now, I'm going to do something special for you if you're watching this video. If you ain't got no session with me, you slipping. I don't even want to talk to y'all that ain't got no session with me. Anyway, um, if you want my money vortex, I gave it out this morning to like 15 people on Instagram because I went on there trying to help people who want to have money. Y'all know it's about to get cold. Y'all know they about to cut unemployment. They is. They talking about this other variant thing going around. We about to, it's about to get cold. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a lot of people shivering and broke. And it ain't gonna be the chosen one. It ain't gonna be the star seed. So if you wanna learn how to attract money the star seed way, like we be doing it, we don't work. It worked for us. You about to get my money vortex while I still last. Shoot me up an email right now. Trina Sanders, I want to buy the money vortex. About to invest in yourself. It's worth it. I'm telling you, you did that or you're going to be shivering this winter. Not me. I got enough money to keep the heat on. Huh? Huh? And I ain't got to worry about if my mama and daddy going to do it. And I'm about to put you in the same position. So get in contact with me, Trini Sanderson at gmail.com, man. It's your big bro, man. Listen, remember my words in this video. It's going to feel lonely. You're going to feel like ain't nobody listening, but they all tuned in. But the true reality behind the situation is God don't want everybody around you because he know what he put in you. He know he put power inside you. He know he put all that shit inside you. You got everything that people want out here. That's why they fighting. It's in you. And he's stingy with you. God is stingy with you. He loves you that much. He favored you. Highly favored and blessed you all. And everybody can go with you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, man. I'm out. It's your big brother, man. Peace.